Okay. Let's get you, Chambered Nautilus. Chambered Nautili. Okay, Leone. Oh, that's right. We also need to see some manta rays. Oh, but wait, they show up at night. Cleone. Uh, not you. Bye. Come on. Oh, yeah. I, I guess I got a task group to, t to deal with those guys. All right. That's cool. What's here? UV light. Oh! Oh! This is a calamity. Here we go. Let's get this. What are you? Oh, you're the Mega Mouth. You're worth a hefty chunk. So. Let's uh I'd argue the poison harpoon 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 tip is much better. Just because it's damage over time, uh you will get rid of the underwater scoot scoot. Okay. Get out of there. He's going to do a chomp chomp. Don't let him. Go. Get out. Let that. Let that damage over time. Just hack away at him. Go. I am being f incredibly foolish. I'm very fortunate. Very fortunate for that. So, let's see. We got the meat. Okay, now we can't carry anything more. Got a jawbone. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to look at getting rid of some stuff. You, uh, mackerel scat, I'm probably going to get rid of, lionfish, uh, we're all, we're still at only 69, what's doing the, well, it's the sharks, straight up, this is like, this tiger shark accounts for half of it. And this is the and the well, I don't need the fang tooth. I don't really I'm not really using fang tooth. What else can I get? These chambered nautiluses are a kilogram each. Uh, I'll probably get rid of the meat, but I'll keep the head for the... Uh, oh man, I don't know. I don't really use white tip shark meat anymore. Uh, I'll keep the head though. Okay, so in case I come across something, I can at least... Like, use it. I guess. No, don't need it. I've determined that I don't need it. Okay, what do we got here? Huh. Split them. Split them. Here we go. Perfect. So I'm, I'm curious. I wonder if these things are 
pacifists otherwise. These are pacifists un unless you attack them. Which I think is really interesting for a... a fish. Uh, gotta hope to God. Okay, so, bye-bye. Bye-bye to that. And we're gonna go down, down, down. Down, down, down. Ah, uh, I almost should. Now, let's, let's see what the village has to say. Let's see what these guys have to say. That didn't last long. Let's see, maybe we got another one. Let's see. Nope. No, we do not. So it looks like it's down we go. I don't got the dash anymore. I got rid of that. So. Where's the village? Ugh, I'm getting real spooky vibes. So, something just moved past me. You, yep. Human, go ahead and be our lookout. But it's so dark. I feel like there might be something dangerous there. Ugh. <laughs> or it can come to you. Inspect the village access road. Uh, I have a sneaking suspicion that... You sense a dangerous creature's presence. Enter? <laughs> Come on. Who do you think we are? Deep Sea Cave. What is this? Why is there debris like this so deep? I have a sneaking suspicion that someone's going to be trying to... Yep. Yep. You. Do I got to fight this thing? Oh no, those vibrations again. Something has to be here. Why did he tell me to come alone? Hang out. What is that? There are wolf eels that big? Uh, I don't think I can run. Oh, whatever. No! Go! How do you avoid that? Ah, it looks really tough. The shine spot on its tail, it looks weaker, weaker than the rest of its body. That's trouble. Come on. Oh! Okay. Oh! Get to it, get to it. No!
Ugh, how can a wolfie be so big? <clears throat> I was just about to come and defeat it. I guess I came too late. You know why you're too late? Because I'm better than you. Suwam. Haha, <laughs> you're stronger than I expected, human. I guess maybe Rambo just believed in us. Now, you see that big gate over there? That's the entrance to the village. Take the lead, human. Can I loot it? We are looting this. Rank 99. We got it, right? Uh, yeah. There we go. Taking the lead. Oh. Look at this. This is a pretty jazzy place. Wow, so this is... Haha, <laughs> that's right. This is the Sea People Village we live in. To think there would be a place like this under the sea. Wait. How... How did a human get in here? Huh? Ramo and Suam, were you kidnapped by this human? <sighs> Tenzin... Awaits you. He's lost sleep worrying about you. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. Aha, uh -huh, allow me. I rescued, um, I rescued Ramo after she was kidnapped by a squid. Forget it, just take me to my father. It'll be faster for me to explain things to him. Whole reunion right over here. Oh my goodness, Ramo, my daughter. Where were you? My precious girl, your daddy, your daddy was worried out of his wits. I'm sure you were. Are you hurt? Did the humans do something to you? My daughter? Oh my god, this guy speaks... I don't like the... This guy's a little weird. Wait, who is this next to you? I thought you brought home a blue manatee. But this is a human. A big bone, you dick. <laughs> what is going on here? I'd like an explanation. You know that strange things have been happening around here recently, right? For example, the tremors, the ice melting off the divine tree. Oh, uh, that's a new thing. Of course, Ramo. I've been looking for into the causes. It's already been two years. You know our technology has its limits. Well, well the ancient texts have, be have been lost, and we need to figure out new methods again. We can't simply keep waiting, Father. Humans are selfish, but they have good technology. We need their help. No, not the humans. They can't be trusted. They dirtied our home and even hunted our kind to put on display. They are wicked creatures looking to hunt us and steal from us. We can't ally with the likes of... Oh. Sounds like you might need to. Another huge tremor. See, something bad will really happen if we don't do anything. Uh-huh. When I was taken by the giant squid in human waters, Dave here helped me out. Suam said he was the one who did that earlier. Try asking him. Not all humans can be bad, can they? I mean, well... Even, even if I wanted this, the villagers would not agree. Getting help from humans, everyone would find that hard to believe. If this man can gain the villagers' trust, I'll consider your suggestion. Okay, it's going to be one of these things. Hmm, the village's trust. How does he go about winning that? Like in every other video game, you go, you ask people around, Hey, you need help? And they go, yeah, do this. Fetch me something. Okay. Here, I got it for you. Oh, thanks, I trust you now. How about asking around? <laughs> How about asking around? See what they need. Alright, since today's long, trip must have been pretty tiring. Human, come back here tomorrow. You have to listen to the villagers' requests. 
I didn't even agree. How am I supposed to come all the way here? Chapter 3. Finally. <laughs> Since you say you helped my daughter, Ramo, I suppose it wouldn't be fitting for my people to ignore your needs, even if you're a human. Use this. What's this? It looks like an ordinary mirror. This is a sea people mirror. Once installed, it will let you travel to this village instantly. Wow, is such a thing possible? The various disasters have caused our decline, but our ancestors were a very advanced civilization once. Right now, all we have left is a few of the relics, sadly. In any case, installing this in your village will allow you to come to this village whenever you need. It will recognize your face, so only you'll be able to use it. It also operates from the light of the divine tree or the sun, so you can only use it during the day. Oh, and I'll give you the... You know, it's a map. Teleportation device. That's pretty amazing. I'll have to go back to the boat with this mirror for now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Jesus. Jeez. Good. I'll redispatch you. Oh, hold up. I'll need to see... I should drop by, check to see if something happened. Oh. Looks like I arrived too late. Just do a little cleanup. Uh oh. Miss Yoshi, what are you doing here? My work just ended, and I was passing by. I saw the lights on despite the hour. Bancho seems to have gone home already. He looked a bit tired recently. I'm worried he might fall ill. Even so, I'm glad to see him working so hard again like this. Come to think of it, I heard he once gave up on cooking because of a certain incident. Yes, back then I thought he was gone for good. I wonder what it was about. Well, it's nothing that secretive. I simply avoided mentioning it with him present, just in case it's still a sore spot for Ban Bancho. I'm thirsty. Can you give me a glass of beer? Do I really have to do the beer pour game with you? Nothing so refreshing as a glass of beer after work. It's especially nice to have a view of the sea at night like this as I drink. I'll tell you now a bit about Bancho and why he quit cooking for a while. It was 12 years ago. Okay. Flashback. Huh. Okay. This is the Dugong Hotel. I worked here 12 years ago. It's a five-star hotel with both tradition and a long history. Looks, It looks a bit old, yes, but at the time, the quality of food and service had been newly improved. Yoshi, do you have a moment? This is the manager. What is it, manager? Well, a troublesome customer left a res reservation. A troublesome customer. You know the actress Loie, uh, Loie Crawford? Lo Lois Crawford. <laughs> Lois Crawford. She made a reservation at her hotel. Loie. Uh, uh, what? Yoshi. Loi, Lois, I was about to say it again. Lois Crawford. She was a leading, actress, a leading actress with a long career. Her role as a spy in one of her most famous works, The 42nd Floor, was extremely impressive. She appears to have hit a slight slump as her new movies have been doing quite well. Okay. Manager. Manager had spent his entire life at the hotel. It was like he was living... It was a living embodiment of its history. He had a lot of knowledge about the etiquette used by the upper class of each country, and he was very used to servicing those of high rank. Many VIP saw his services. Okay. The hotel itself. Our Dugong Hotel is a luxury hotel with many years of history and tradition. 
In the past, we had noble stain in our accommodations, and many notable films were shot here. Many people seeking that sort of old era nostalgia used our services, and we had very high standards for the services we provided. I heard that Lois Crawford can be very picky, but we are a very high quality restaurant with very high quality hotel with history and tradition on our side. I don't think there will be any issue if she comes. Haha, <laughs> so there is. Nobody can beat the level of services and staff at this hotel. We've won many prizes as well. Just one thing. You haven't heard the rumors about her, have you? The rumors? Take a look at this. What's that? She's sitting. This is... She's famous not only as a chef, but a gourmet. That's a blurb she published in a travel magazine recently. Hmm, it appears to be a description of her travels, but it's just a, her bashing on, uh, on the hotel she stayed at. Gloria Hotels are the best of the best, and yet she wrote such a scathing review. Bringing out the bad does make a person look more professional. Her writing, mostly her writing is mostly like this. What do you suggest we do, Yoshi? Accept it. Those who can't refuse the reservation, if only for the hotel's reputation's sake. In that case, we'll have to think about how we how we'll serve her. We'll take the reservation, but we also need to think of ways to satisfy her. I suppose you're right. Do you have any ideas, Yoshi? Um. Our hotel's strengths are our longest history and tradition, as well as our high-quality service. The way we can satisfy her will involve making use, good use of these things. Did she reserve a suite? Yes, it's a suite. Okay. We'll need to clean the rooms and services that match her taste. We'll treat her as a VIP. I'll look into the drinks and amenities she prefers, and I and place them as I also check on the state of the rooms and about who will receive her i suppose i'll have to do that thank you there is no one that can handle such a tricky customer except you with your long experience with many vips i'm more tense than usual and about the meals we can offer the buffet for breakfast but we'll also need to ready a dinner course the dinners at our hotel i'm italian our hotel provides italian food like a bistro and in a a la carte style we serve pasta or pizza with a simple wine. The chef learned to cook in Naples, and his margarita pizza was so good, but it didn't really go well with the dinner course. Here we go. Japanese. Dugong Hotel's Japanese food has never been its strong suit. We only served udon or simple donburi. We've been making exceptional progress, however, after we hired Bancho grown quite dramatically. Bacho is famous for his ability to reinterpret the use of ingredients and his food was recently featured in an overseas magazine. He might be our dark horse. That's a little racist. <laughs> that means Japanese is likely to be our best choice. Bacho hasn't really proven himself yet. Do you think it'll be alright? Hmm. Bancho's skill is indisputable. However, one great drawback is that he doesn't consider the preferences of his customers. His sole focus is letting people try new flavors. That is what drives his creativity, of course, but this time it won't really serve us. We're dealing with the infamous Lois Crawford, after all. I see that's a good point. However, I think the best we can do right now is to try and persuade Bancho. I agree. Best of luck, Yoshi. So what happens? Here he is. A young Bancho. Bancho, are you here? Miss Yoshi, what are you doing here? Oh, you're here, that's good. I've come to check on the status of the manager's request. Look all you want, it's just an ordinary Japanese food kitchen. Bancho was a particular man, he suddenly appeared one day, handing us a resume and explaining he'd been learning in Japan. All the sushi establishments listed in the resume were top tier, but Bancho never stayed in one place for long. He told me that he moved on each time after learning enough. The manager had a long talk with him, then left the operation of the Japanese food team to him. He could always be found in the kitchen busy with something day in, day out. He researched food on his own when there were no customers. He hated to be interrupted. Were you practicing? Well, yes. Training means thousands and tens of thousands 
of attempts. Practice without rest is the only way to produce meaningful results. I see. I heard that you never skip research and practice, Bancho. It relieves me to see you work so hard. What do you mean? You're relieved. Bancho, would you be willing to try servicing a VIP? Servicing a VIP? That's right. We have... An important guest who will increase our reputation, or rather, might send it plummeting to the ground. Her name is Lois Crawford. She's an actress that's infamously hard to please. Also, a gourmet reviewer. It's been about a year since you joined the Dugong Hotel. Our Japanese food team, was, which was never very strong, received much attention in a short span of time. And we can't deny that your contribution to this was great. However, this means we also get customers who want special treatment. So you mean I should try and please this picky woman, Lois Crawford? Yes, this is important, as Dugong Hotel's reputation lies in the balance. Huh. What do you say? For me, cooking has always been a battle with myself, not with others. Making perfect food has always been my goal, and that won't change who matter, uh, no matter who I cook for. I mean... I suppose, yeah. I simply use the best ingredients available in the current season and the most suitable recipe. Will that be okay with you? All right, well. We'll leave this. We'll leave, ah. All right. We'll leave the individual dishes in your hands, Banjo. However, I would like to offer input on the method of servicing our guest. All right, you're the expert, Miss Yoshi, when it comes to servicing food. Very good. Now, as for the type of menu to employ, a sushi course offers various kinds of sushi in a certain order with a few side dishes interspersed in between. It allows us to use sushi to allow customers to try many types of fish. What do you think about sushi course? It's also your specialty. Very familiar with the method, however, don't you think it's a little, it's a little too ordinary? If we choose to go with this, I'll, we'll likely use tuna sushi, pike eel sushi, or olive flounder sushi as the main dish. Olive flounder being in season right now. That won't be very impressive, however. Hmm, all right. Since it's to be a dinner, I think a course would be better than a single dish. That means it'd probably be better to employ a Western course format instead. Though it'll be different from the traditional method. I think I could add soup, an hors d'oeuvre, sashimi, side dishes, sushi, tempura, and dessert to the course. What do you think? Not bad. So what will you make for each dish? There's the soup to begin with, and then he's going to... Oh, yeah, a few minutes later, let's just cut to the chase. Yes, I think that'll be fine up to the sushi. Tempura is next. I suppose shrimp would be the most logical choice. Huh, it's difficult to create any impact with shrimp. We've, we've kept everything pretty normal so far, so this is where we add a little spice. I've been researching this very topic. How does something like this sound? You must have a good idea. Let's hear it. Shark. I'm thinking of a dish that uses a shark head. What? A shark? Can sharks be eaten? Sharks are a very tasty fish. And this is the time of the year when they grow fat, boosting the flavor. The meat in the cheeks has... The meat in the cheeks in particular has a very lovely chewy texture, which reminds you of both ordinary meat and fish. But shark is too exotic of an ingredient. Couldn't we use something a little more widely consumed? Especially considering this is Lois Crawford. Good food will impress anyone. Anyone who takes a bite will recognize the food for what it is. That is the best possible food that can be found around here in the current season. Um, I'll give it some thought. I'm not sure it'll, if it'll be okay. I can't help but think that it's not that great of an idea, Bancho. Hmm. If you serve that dish and things go sideways, the consequences won't affect you alone. Both the manager and I will also take part of the blame. After all, she's coming to the Dugong Hotel, not to a restaurant operated by you. A hotel must seek to provide the most restful and enjoyable experience to its guests. Nothing can be allowed to mar that experience as the hotel will stand to lose by it. But there is no guarantee she'll hate it. She'll know from taking just a bite that it's one of the greatest foods. There's always an exception to the rule. She's an extremely picky person after all. What a pity. I understand. I'll go with the shrimp tempura then. Though I can't compare it, though it can't compare it to shark. Let me guess, he, here she is. And how does it go? Let me guess, go sideways. This way, Miss Crawford, thank you. 
This is the chef who will be preparing your, preparing your food today, Bancho. Hmm, he's younger than I expected. I was hoping for a slightly more experienced chef. Oh my, tight-lipped are we? Perhaps my looks leave you at a loss for words. He seems a little tense. He's still quite a skilled chef, I assure you. I'll be looking forward to the food then. I remember the service here being quite alright for an old hotel. I like the carpet and the paintings on the walls as well. Furnishings at Gloria Hotel have a kitsch quality to them that I don't like. But to think there's no gym, that's a bit of a shocker. I need to exercise daily to maintain my figure. Oh, shut up. Do calisthenics. <laughs> God. <laughs> it was our intention that your stay be as restful as possible. Everyone has their prefer preferred way of resting. Well, the bathing facilities were good, so I'll content myself with that. So what's for dinner? A Japanese course meal. Here's the menu. Uh... Well... It was the olive flounder, uh, but that was kind of boring. And a soup. Uh, this is a steamed dish composed of grilled snapper and roe, which was then steamed, garnished with ground yam. The soup features the rich flavor of fish. Hmm, is that a Japanese soup? It's got a bland flavor coupled with a spicy scent. Quite interesting. That is the flavor of the shichimi. There is a tiny bit of flavoring provided by a condiment made from seven different spices. And the next dish is... Okay, just come on. Come on. So the tempura and dessert are left? What's tempura? Don't tell me it's shrimp. The sort that's commonly served with rice. The dessert's no doubt a, use, a usual fruit. I suppose I've tasted basically everything. It's hard to decipher her reaction. Have we succeeded? No, you did not. How do you like it? Are you happy with our Japanese food? Well, it's about as good as I expected it to be, I suppose. I suppose I could come here to eat every now and then. But why bother coming to a hotel to eat food that's quite average? <laughs> Even so, I'm sure our food is better than that of most restaurants. The snapper soup or something was pretty interesting, but that's it. It was just a fishy soup with a spicy aftertaste. To think you added sticky yam on top. Ugh, I didn't I didn't really like the texture. Oh dear, it seems Japanese food isn't all that to your liking. Ignorant of that fact, we served you Japanese. My mistake, please accept my apologies. Whatever, it wasn't that good, but it was healthy at least. This hotel doesn't even have a gym, so I suppose the food should be healthy at the very least. Um, may I have a word? Bancho? Allow me to introduce myself again. I'm the master chef who works here. Bancho. I'm not much of a speaker, so I've been listening quietly. I find it impossible to maintain my silence, however. Oh my, do you have something to tell me? Apparently you're supposed to have better food than anyone else, right? Now, now, Bancho, Miss Lois here is just... It is most definitely my fault for failing to provide food that satisfies you. Will you not give me a chance to make up for my mistake? What? Oh well, my gosh, I'm a very busy woman. What you witnessed today aren't my real skills. I'll serve you food that can objectively be called good. Bancho, you can't be talking about... Hmm, so you're saying you have something else you think will satisfy me. Alright, I'll wait. But remember, my time is valuable. Your food had better be amazing. Basho, you can't be thinking of. What is it, Miss Yoshi? Is there something I'm missing? All done. The shark head. This is whole roasted shark head. Oh my god. This is... You fried the whole head? This is an amazing dish. The meat in the cheeks has been cut out, so... I chose to fry the head whole preserve the supple texture so this is the origin of that awesome shark head dish you'll never taste something quite like this anywhere else it is a high quality dish made using the best possible ingredient get that out of my sight how can you call this food what are you saying just take a bite i'll guarantee you you'll be transported to heaven i'm not happy about this is this what services like the dugong hotel it's all my fault i apologize now bancho sushi you apologize as well sorry miss lois i should have been more vigilant Looks are not all there is to food. Why do you refuse to tr even try it, Miss Lois? Bancho, now isn't the time to. I find this highly unpleasant. Is this some kind of hidden camera prank or a punishment? You'll pay for treating me this way. Don't think I'll just let you get away with this. I'm leaving. Cancel my suite. Ho -ho! Charge me a cancellation fee if you wish. I don't care. <laughs> well, she missed out. So that's, a, that's a killer dish. That's on her. After that, Bancho quit his job at the hotel and left, saying he needed to train. It's my belief he wasn't, it wasn't so much the cooking itself as the ingredients and cooking methods that he researched. 
I see. Still, I admire him a little for not giving up on the belief that he's still going on the right path. I suppose it was this stubborn side of him that allowed him to attain his current level of skill. Working with you now, he's even started social media. I feel something has changed about him, and I like it. I think you're good for him. Please continue to get along. I'll do my best to help Bancho focus on his cooking. Alright, well. He, uh... What do you got here? Oh, Dave, you weren't around yesterday, so I was a bit worried. I couldn't get in touch with you by radio either. I was at the Sea People Village yesterday. You what? What happened? Well, you see... Another cutscene. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Fuck Suwam. I see. I envy you. I do. What a lucky experience. I'm not sure how I can help, but it's very clear they have problems to deal with. Why don't you go and talk with the residents first? Oh my god. I'd love to go as well, but as you said, only one person can use the see people mirror. What a pity. Aha! Uh -huh, what an unexpected turn of events. If you need any of my tools, don't forget to check out the Cobra shop. Yes, I'll have to use the see people mirror first to visit their village. <laughs> okay. There we go. So we can use the mirror to go back and forth. That's cool. Thanks for watching today's video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and visit my channel to check out some of my other content.